Hi, welcome to another video. So, integrating AI in games has been hard for a long time. I mean, making your NPCs better with AI has been pretty hard because you need to configure a lot of stuff to ensure everything progresses smoothly, and you need to code a lot to achieve that. But I have a solution for that, and it's called RPG Go. RPG Go is an AI platform that allows you to create and play AI-based RPG games. So, even if you don't want to make AI games, you can still come here and choose from a wide range of AI-based RPG games to play as well. It has a wide collection of AI games made by other users, so you can easily play these games and have fun. Apart from this, it is not just limited to that either, because it also has an API that allows you to add these games to your application. You can use these APIs to create Discord bots or add them to your own application as well. We'll come to that, but let me guide you through the site and how you can use it. First of all, if you're a user and just want to play some cool RPG games, you can come to the site through the link in the description, and here you'll find a bunch of games to play. You can click on any one of them, and it includes everything, including automated image generation for more immersion, as well as voice mode. So, if you like to chat via voice, you can do that quite easily, which is also amazing. You can also chat with different characters if you want to, which is also great and amazing to use. It also has a really great interface, which is just amazing. Now, apart from this, you can create custom games here as well and publish them for others to use and play. So, to do that, just go to their creator site. Here, you can create your own games, characters, and everything. You can select from a bunch of templates, or you can also start generating stuff from scratch with their AI Copilot as well. If you start from scratch, you'll need to enter some details about how your world works, like if it's a horror game, adventure game, or anything like that. You can also enter details manually if you already have something. Otherwise, you can just write it in Copilot, and it will generate details for you with one prompt. If you'll go the manual route, you'll need to enter the world name, description, and other world knowledge details that you think may be good for the AI to know about. Once the world is defined, you can move to the character part. Here, you can define characters in your game. You can fill out all this stuff if you want, or you can also use the co-pilot here to define the characters for you based on just one prompt. So, that is also cool. If you go for the manual route here, then you'll need to enter all these stuff like character name, backstory, personal appearance, voice, and everything as well. Once that is done, you can go to the Info tab and configure the game info and everything about how it will show to others. If you go the manual mode here, then you'll need to enter the game name, mechanics, tags, and everything. You can also upload your own game poster and everything. After that, you'll need to configure the chapters about how the game will progress. You can add multiple levels and everything about how you want the game to progress. You can use the co-pilot here to fill all the boxes for you based on one prompt as well. Apart from this, you can also add different characters for each participant, and that's super cool as well. Once everything is configured, you can click the play button and play it for yourself and test it all you want. Once you think everything is configured correctly, you can publish it, and other people can access your games and play them as well. Apart from this, you can also create specific characters as well. So, to do that, you can just go to the Create option, and here you'll see the Character option. Here, you can create characters from a template or you can also create the characters from scratch. 
If you create from scratch, you'll need to upload the picture, personality, and everything. You can also select from a bunch of voices that match the most to your character. Apart from this, you'll enter the persona name, along with the tone, personality traits, character intro, and everything. You can also add modules to it. For example, if you want to give the character options to give the user some choices, you can create modules and give the character that module. You can create custom modules from the Create page and then attach them here. Once you enter all that, you can chat with the character here and test it out to see if it performs well. If it doesn't, you can just change the stuff here to make it better, and you can keep doing this back and forth. Once you think the character is done and ready to be published, you can test it in full page, and once you're ready, you can publish it to the RPG Go site. The games will be available on the home page, which is super cool. Apart from this, you can also use these games via API in your application. You can go to their API documentation, where you'll find all their API specifications, and you can integrate it into your application. You can also integrate it into your Discord by creating a chatbot. They have all the tutorials as well. Although, you will need to get an API key by sending a request to them. But once you have that, you can implement the games in your applications as well. They have great tutorials on their site. But the best part for sure is their platform, where you can easily play a bunch of user-made games and do voice chat, text chat, multimodal chat, and everything you'd want. Plus, it is super interactive. It's free as well, so you don't need to pay to try it out. Make sure to click the link in the description and visit their site to try it out. Also, make sure that you use my referral code, AI Code King, while sign up to get free 100 coins as well and enjoy it all you want. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.